तो हे गाइज आई एल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट द पुरेंटल कैनाल इन अ ईजियर वे बाई डूइंग अ डायग्राम या इट्स अ क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक यूजली पीपल फील दिस टॉपिक डिफिकल्ट बट इफ यू स्टडी विद द हेल्प ऑफ डायग्राम इट्स वेरी वेरी ईजी सो आई एल ड्रॉ अ रफ डायग्राम हियर ओके सो दिस इज इशियल बोन इशियम बोन आई कैन वॉट यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज प्योबिक सिम्फाइसिस Okay, we are done with the pubic symphysis. After that, I'll draw a quiet big diagram so that you can understand. So, this is the ischial bone. After that, remember these two structures. this is the deep perineal pouch so this is the deep perineal pouch and remember another one that is okay we'll study about this there is a foramen here as you know there is a foramen here this foramen is called as obturator foramen what is this foramen called as obturator for amen after that so you can see here this is spine ischial spine okay i'll name it for the better understanding ischial spine and there are two ligaments sarcotuberous ligament and sarcospinous ligament present which gets attached to the lower part of sacrum and the coccygeal bone so you can see the two ligaments present this is a simplified diagram so this one and this one so this is sacro which is getting attached to spine ischial spine so it is sacrospinous ligament this is like a tube like structure called as sacro tuberous ligament sacrospinous ligament as well as the sacro tuberous ligament okay so we are done with the two ligaments now this space is called as the lesser sciatic foramen this another space is called as the greater sciatic foramen we'll be start studying only about the lesser sciatic foramen okay we are done with the structures and this whole structure here is a hip bone this is the hip bone so this is the hip bone and now we'll see where is this pudendal canal present so it extends from the deep perineal pouch till the lesser sciatic foramen it extends from the deep perineal pouch till the lesser sciatic foramen i'll do a small diagrammatic representation so that you can understand better so it extends okay this is the pudendal canal so pudendal canal it extends from the deep perineal pouch till the lesser sciatic foramen deep perineal pouch till the lesser sciatic foramen so this is the diagrammatic representation of the pudendal canal easier one now we'll come up with a the theory so there are two sacro so there are two ligaments that is sacrospinous ligament as well as sacrotuberous ligament that is found between the greater and lesser sciatic foramen okay the there are two ligaments that is a sacro spinous ligament as well as the sacro tubular ligament which is present between the lesser and greater sciatic foramen 
okay now we'll see the pudendal canal where does it extend like till where it extend so pudendal canal remember this name it is also called as alcox canal it is also called as alcox canal alcox canal so it extends so pudendal canal it extends from okay extends from deep perineal pouch till the lesser sciatic foramen till the lesser sciatic foramen okay now what are the contents of the pudendal canal so what are the contents of this pudendal canal it has pudendal nerve as well as the internal pudendal artery so it has pudendal nerve as well as the internal pudendal artery okay so done this fascia is also known as the facial tunnel which enters into the lateral wall of the ischioanal fossa just above the sacrotibular ligament okay it extends from the lesser sciatic foramen till the deep perineal pouch formation pudendal canal has a space between the obturator fascia and the lunate fascia you can also just think like that so if this is the pudendal nerve canal if this is the pudendal canal then you can see that there is obturator fascia passing above it and the lunate fascia passing below it so there is obturator fascia passing above it and the lunate fascia passing below it okay this is the end of the definition you can write it is a canal extending from the obturator fascia to lunate fascia or present in between these two fascias or you can also write it as it extends from the deep perineal pouch till the lesser sciatic foramen now i'll be explaining about what are the contents present inside this pudendal canal so before that i'll teach you a small diagrammatic representation okay if this is the pudendal canal and there is lesser sciatic foramen greater sciatic foramen present here then okay this is the pudendal nerve and there is a tube or sacrospinous ligament formed so this sacrospinous ligament they convert these notches into foramen actually what is lesser sciatic foramen and greater sciatic foramen in the sense it looks like a notch but the sacrospinous ligament is the one which converts these notches into the lesser sciatic foramen and greater sciatic foramen they converts the notch into foramen they convert the notch into the foramen now we'll study what are the contents present inside this pudendal canal so i'll be drawing a big pudendal canal for our reference okay this is the pudendal canal a very big structure but it's not this big in our body okay first see look at this there is a pudendal nerve passing above what is it called as i'll be explaining it briefly slowly so that you can understand there is pudendal nerve present here this pudendal nerve gives off three main branches it gives off three main branches 
first one is this second one is this and the third one is this so clear it properly so first one is this second one is this branch as well as the third branch is this pudental nerve gives three branches first one is the inferior rectal nerve inferior rectal nerve understand so next one it gives of the perineal branch so this is the perineal branch and the third one in male it is called as the dorsal nerve of penis in female it is called as the dorsal nerve of clitoris so make it clear in male it is known as dorsal nerve of penis in female it is known as dorsal nerve of clitoris okay it gives of three branch inferior rectal nerve perineal branch as well as the dorsal nerve of penis in male dorsal nerve of clitoris in female further the perineal branch the second branch gives of two extra or the sub branches so it gives of the two extra branches it gives of the two extra branches this sub branch is called as wait I'll, the first branch as well as the second branch first branch is called as the muscular branch it's called as the muscular branch and the second branch in male it is called as posterior scrotal nerve in female it is called as posterior labial nerve it's called as posterior scrotal nerve in female it is known as posterior labial nerve muscular branch is also called as the muscle of urogenital region it is also called as muscle of urogenital region okay we studied a bit structures of all these uh, things pudental nerve gives of the three branches inferior rectal perineal branch is subdivides into muscular branch as well as posterior scrotal nerve or posterior labial nerve another branch third branch is called as dorsal nerve of penis in male dorsal nerve of clitoris in female now there are two structures extra present next to the pudental nerve one is internal pudental artery and the next one is internal pudental vein okay here is one structure and the next structure is internal pudental V. So these are nothing but combining it. I'll write it as internal pudendal vessels. It means internal pudendal artery plus internal pudendal vein. So that's it. That's it about the pudendal canal. We have studied deeply, which is a very important topic. Draw this diagram so that you can understand in a better way. In the next video, I'll be explaining about the internal pudendal artery, which has which has many branches and the structures passing through it. Hope you like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.